Okay, so I think most of us thought that the new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would be stupidly broken, right? And as it turns out, that is exactly what he is. In fact, he might even be a little bit more broken than I had originally predicted. So of course, we're going to get into those details in a second, but let's kick things off here by watching his animations because I think they're pretty damn clean. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so there you go. As you can see, we have a new Nova Shenron in addition to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and uh, I think they're really nice. Um, my first impressions, like when I first saw them this morning, was like, yo, that that looks really freaking good. Um, I wouldn't say that like my face was blown off like uh, some of the <laughs> recent animations we've had. Like, I still go back to the first time I saw, you know, the Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta animations where I was like, oh my god, what am I even seeing right now? And when I saw these, like, I didn't feel that way, but I still think they're really nice. They're still uh, way better. Way, way, way better. When you talk about, like, improvements from the previous iteration, compare this to Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's animations, okay? And it's, like, it's, like, different games. I mean, it's been a long time, too, so that's, I mean, to be fair, right? Like, we've come a long way, but, but still, but still, just compare the... Like these animations to that like hydro pump water gun thing that the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has and you'll really see just uh, how far we've come in this game. Anyways, those are the animations. I like them. Active skills great. I love uh, the counter, all that stuff. So now let's move on to the details courtesy of of course the homie Goresh on Twitter. Much appreciated. And we're going to start here with the Gogeta first because I know that's the one that most people came to this video for. And uh, his leader skill is going to be a Great Ape Power, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 170%, I'm assuming. That's going to include, obviously, all Super Saiyan 4s and anybody that can transform into a Great Ape. Like, I haven't seen the category yet. I don't think we actually know the exact composition of the category, but I think that's a safe, safe assumption. And uh, on top of that, he's also a Shadow Dragon Saga Category Leader, Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100% and 50%. I was really hoping for a 170% lead for Chatter Dragon Saga. If you guys didn't know, it's one of my favorite categories. For sure, definitely one of my favorite categories in the entire game. And it would have been nice to have, you know, 170% attack for more damage output. But I guess it's not necessary to give it 170. It just would have been nice to have a different leader skill than uh, the Fizz Omega Shenron. But uh, on top of that, we have the super attack, which is Big Bang Kamehameha, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and this is a 50% buff to uh, attack and defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 200%, gain an additional key plus 4, and attack and defense plus 40%. Hold on, okay. I think I glossed over that too quick. Attack and defense plus 200%, and that's just the start. Okay, that's just the base boost. And then gain an additional key plus 4, and attack and defense plus 40%, and attacks effective against all types for 8 turns from first appearance, high chance of uh, attacks effective against all types starting from the 9th turn from first appearance, high chance of evading enemies super attack and countering with tremendous power. Like, what is this passive, man? What is this passive? When I first thought, I was like, hold on, is there is there a typo, like... Am I, am I seeing this wrong? Because this man's getting 240% attack and defense 
for the first 8 turns and attacks effective against all and an extra key plus 4 so he's never going to have key issues even though I mean given his link set I don't think that's going to be a huge issue anyways but but still he's basically guaranteed a super every turn 240% with attacks effective against all types and then even after the 8th turn he still has a high chance of attacks effective against all and he still has that high chance of evading enemies super attack and countering with tremendous power which uh, obviously the other Gogeta also had and that is clutch man like that is a very very clutch mechanic for super battle road extreme super battle road so on and so forth because not only are you going to be mitigating that damage you're also going to be doing a lot of damage back to the enemy because tremendous power is a huge multiplier right so um what what else can i say and that's that's just the passive there's also an active skill on top of that so for the active skill you have to be uh let's see oh you have to be hit four or more times and then you can pop it which is really actually really simple right as long as you get hit four times which can happen within like the first one or two turns then you can use the active skill and for the ability it's all enemies attack and defense minus 40 percent and own attack and defense plus 40 percent now i believe the way that this stuff is calculated is going to be separate so uh once it's all said and done he should be over 300 percent attack and defense with all three of these boosts active and uh, he also of course has that attack effective against all types and he also greatly raises attack and defense for one turn um, on a super attack so um, yeah the boost this guy is getting is just ridiculous what else can I say like he's he's getting so much attack and defense man um, yeah uh, uh, he's he's just as if not more busted than I was originally predicting possibly best new TUR in the game Maybe. He's got to be in the conversation. I don't know where exactly I would rank him right now, but he's got to be top three easily. Maybe number one once I uh, get to use him, you know, so we'll see. We'll see. But uh, those are the details. Oh, also Lynx, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in the Flash, GT, Fused Fighter, and Fierce Battle. Extremely good Link set for his teams, Fusions, and uh, Shadow Dragon Saga. He's going to be you know, linking quite a bit. And the categories are Grade 8 Power, Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Kamehameha, and Final Trump Card. Okay, so there you go. That is Int. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta coming to JP soon. Uh, for Global, probably sometime next year. We'll have to see. But, uh, <sighs> stupid. This is just stupid. <laughs> so now let's talk about the uh, new Nova Shen run. Okay, so he is Fizz type, Nova Shen run, Flames of Revenge. Uh, leader skill is Shadow Dragon Saga, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, raises attack for 3 turns, causes immense damage, and seals enemy super attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 140%, attack and defense plus 40%, and gain a high chance to perform a critical hit when attacking an extreme class enemy, and gains an additional key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 40% if there is a Shadow Dragon Saga category enemy, Shadow Dragon Saga category super class allies, defense plus 40%. So, yeah, overall, um, looks pretty good. Yeah, he looks like a really solid unit. These, uh, you know, secondary, like, new units that come with Dokkan Fest units are usually very solid, and he kind of keeps that same trend. Um, not much to really talk about here. A lot of big boosts, of course, on his passive. His stats, of course, are going to be a bit lower than a Dokkan Fest unit, but still, with that much attack and defense he's gonna be a very good performer for sure and uh, his links are gentlemen cold judgment shocking speed gt shadow dragon revival and fierce battle and uh, categories are shadow dragon saga resurrected warriors and worthy rivals okay so that is the new nova shenron and uh that's that's pretty much the video guys there's not much else to talk about gogeta's stupid broken um i <laughs> there's there's no other way to describe this passive in addition to this uh, active skill, in addition to greatly raising attack and defense, um, amazing link set too. Like he's just, he's awesome. He's, he's amazing. What else can I say? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Nova Shenron. Um, yeah, yeah. There's, there's not much else to say. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And 
If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.